Pizza is the kind of food that's meant to be shared, eaten with your hands, with your friends or family. So I thought I'd whip up another little treat that can be shared as well. Spiced lamb and pomegranate ladyfingers. Now to start with, I'm just frying off some onion and garlic. I'm using an induction stove top to do this, and induction is actually a really interesting technology. It uses magnetism rather than direct heat, so it's almost instantaneous. And unlike electric, it doesn't retain the heat, and you can only use it with the correct equipment, so it's really, really safe. I'm really being run over by this kind of technology. Once the onion and garlic is soft, it's time to add the lamb mince. Now, make sure this is at room temperature. Just put it in. Pat it down a little bit. And now, don't be tempted to play with it. You want it to brown. The mince is all brown now, and all the liquid has evaporated, so it's time to deglaze with some white wine. Coriander, cumin, a little bit of cayenne pepper, and quite a lot of allspice. Now, lamb and allspice are a really lovely combination. Next up is some chopped tomato and some stock. Chicken or lamb stock is fine. Just let that bubble away until it's all evaporated. Pomegranates are such a magical fruit. Look at those seeds. They're like little jewels. They're like little bursts of flavour in your mouth. I'm going to use some of them for presentation, and I'm going to use some pomegranate molasses in my lamb. This will give a really nice, sweet, sour flavour. I pulled the mixture off the heat, and I'm adding some mint. It's great having these pots inside. You can't get any fresher. You can just pull it straight off the bush. My mixture's cool, so I'm going to make my lady fit. I've got here a piece of phyllo pastry and the rest of it is under a damp cloth because it dries out really easily. I'll just brush this with some melted butter. Now just take a spoonful of your mixture, pop it onto the pastry and roll to make a cigar shape. Just like this. And just put it on a tray lined with baking paper and brush the tops with a little bit of butter. This will help the pastry go nice and golden and crisp, so you'll have that gorgeous crunch of the pastry followed by the softness of the lamb. Now just put them into an oven preheated to 180 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes or until they're golden. While they're cooking, I'm going to make something to dip them into. This is just simply a little bit of Greek yogurt, some soft goat's cheese, plenty of mint, a squeeze of lemon, and some salt and pepper just whizzed together in a food processor. To remove all these gorgeous seeds from the pomegranate, all you have to do is just beat the base with a wooden spoon. So just to finish off, I'll sprinkle with some almonds that I've toasted in a little bit of butter, the pomegranate seeds, some icing sugar, and cinnamon. Now that sounds like a really strange thing to do, but the combination of the sweet with the intense savoury pastries is actually really beautiful. Just finish off with your dipping sauce and you're ready to eat your lamb and pomegranate ladyfingers.